Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a demonstration video of my Pioneer Les Displayer and my uh, DVDO Icecam VP30. I'm going to do both at the same time. Uh, I'm going to show you a direct comparison on my TV using the same film, one on LaserDisc and one on DVD. Um, not sure if it's the exact same cut of the film, but it's it was the first tool that came to hand that I have both on DVD and LaserDisc. So this is the Pioneer. Let's see if you can. I don't know if you can see the all the stuff on there. You should be able to. And there's the serial number, the DVL dash nine one nine E. Now this one plays DVDs, VCDs, and everything else, and it's quite a high end laser disc player. As you can see, it's got quite a bit of uh, digital gubbins on it. So uh, we'll power that on. Okay, let's power the TV on as well. Uh, what we're going to do is, I'll show you the operation of the player first. You've got the DVD draw, which is just the central bit that pops out. And in. And the whole laser disc draw that comes out, we'll have to watch this because it comes out pretty far and fast. And the laser disc draws there. As you can see, it's really nice and smooth in and out. Now, the films, sorry about the mess, guys. The films I've got for you is Cat in the Brain on DVD and Cat in the Brain on LaserDisc. Um, the TV's up here, and it's at the minute it's displaying my DVD or um, basically blank signal. It's saying it's on standby, but it's sending a signal to my TV. Um, this is the DVD-O, we can put that onto my Skybox. Um, like that. And my Skybox runs into it. This is, um, if you're in America or something like that, this is basically a cable box that runs out HDMI into the DVD-O. Onto... The TV. I can't really show you too much of the TV because obviously it's live broadcasted TV and I'm not sure about the YouTube laws and regulations. So I'm just going to do a quick quick pop down and I'll show you me putting the laser disc into the play. Okay guys, we're back and I've got here the laser disc of Cat in the Brain. I'm going to put this into the player very carefully, trying not to uh, put any nasty finger marks on the disc. Put that in there. You can see now that are on the laser disc. Hit play. And you'll hear that lovely sound as it spins up. Sorry guys, I'm wobbling the camera around like a little bitch here. You can see the laser disc playing. Obviously, for some reason, called Nightmare Concert on here, which is obviously a alternate title of the film. Let me try and get you a bit closer in so you can see that. Is the uh, DVD or does clear this up quite a bit? Hello. Sorry, I'm not zooming in. It's the TV zooming in on his head, not me. I'll try and bring you.
let's scab forward a little bit try and get you to something There you go, that's the That's the Les Disc. Next I'm gonna put in the DVD and show you the DVD. Okay, here we are guys, we're back. We're gonna put the uh cat in the brain um DVD now in. So we'll open the DVD drawer, pop that in there. It'll come up and tell you that it's in there in a second when that little blue light stops flashing. There it goes, and press play, it should come up on here now, there's the DVD. There you go. The only thing with DVDs, you have to wait for them to get into the film, it's not like laser discs that have straight into the film you have to wait for menus and stuff on these right play a movie obviously we're in a different aspect ratio so we need to yeah we need to be changing that there we go i right, see this is under a different alternate title You see, there's not a great deal in on the older films between the DVD and the uh, Laserdisc. I think the DVD-O does quite a good job of cleaning it up. And as I said, as before, I'm not zooming in on his head. It just, it's just doing it itself. Let's scoot along like we did last time. We'll skip it to this scene so it's something different to look at. Try and zoom in. The camera doesn't really do this much justice. I would actually say between the two, I know this is going to sound crazy, but I'd I think the laser disc looked better, but then again, this is, um, you know, this is a, a, a Poundland DVD that I got, so it's probably the cheapest and nastiest cut that there is of it, but I think it looks, I can't show you what's on the TV now because it'll get banned, um, but yeah, I, I think actually the laser disc looked better. Um, I'll show you the remote for the DVD. Oh, that's the remote there for it. You can change your aspect ratios. You can change your uh, output between um, 720p, 1080p, 1080i, and what this does basically, um, it's upscaling from the 420i of the laser displayer, and it's cleaning up both the DVD and the um, laser discs, getting rid of the uninterlacing them and upscaling them to 1080p which is what I've got it set to. It also cleans up and sorts out the aspect ratios of my uh, cable uh, skybox, satellite box and puts that out uh, whatever aspect ratio I want because sometimes it broadcasts it in 4.3 and uh, I'll change it to be a, a widescreen aspect ratio um, so my wife can see it better, she's got really bad eyes um, but yeah, this is the uh, DVD-O iScan VP30 and the Pioneer DVL-919E and this is a UK PAL 
multi-region player. It'll play both DVDs and laser discs and VCDs from any country in the world without any issues. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you've liked this video, I hope I've not been too jumpy about you with it and I hope I've been quite informative. If you like what you've seen then please give me a like and I'll see you next time, bye!